Hello there, people of YouTube, and welcome again to the Spike Hair Podcast for another movie review where I am happy to bring you my review of Sonic the Hedgehog. Directed by Jeff Fowler, starring James Marsden, Jim Carrey, and the voice of Ben Swartz as the titular hedgehog. And to summarize the plot of this film, Sonic has his power of super fast speed. Everyone's that power. So he is sent from his alien world to Earth to stay in hiding. But due to an emotional outburst, he causes a big power outage, which attracts the attention of some very untastely officials, including the nefarious Dr. Robotnik, played expertly by Jim Carrey. Now before we get into the review guys, if you do like what I do on this channel, feel free to drop a like on the video and hit that subscribe button, it would really help a lot. But without further ado, let's get right into the review. So this film, for starters, let's address the elephant in the room. It did have that trailer that everyone went to melt down over. And it meant that a lot of VFX and special effects artists had to be pulled aside to actually redesign the Sonic look. Was it worth it? In my opinion, yes, because the character of Sonic, who is fantastically voiced by Ben Swartz in this, is brilliant. If we had the old design given the same dialogue, it would have felt like someone else pretending to be our Sonic. The fact that they've redesigned to make it look almost the spin image of the character that we have grown up with really helps a lot purely for the fact that it's very easy for us to buy into the fact that yet yeah, that is Sonic, that is the character that we've grown to know and love over the years. If they stuck with the old design, we would have been hating on the dialogue because it would have just looked like a knockoff version of Sonic trying to be him but never will be him. So to the effects artists that had to come in to redesign Sonic, we thank you and big thank you to the studio as well for listening to the fans and if you are one of those people that complained about the trailer, then go give this film a watch. No matter what you think of the film, go give this film a watch purely because a studio listened to us. So let's thank them for it and actually support this film. Also, Jim Carrey is back. This is his first feature film since Dumb and Dumber 2 back in 2014. He has been gone from our screens for a very long time and it is so nice to see him back when you're reading to the reason he's been away for so long. It is heartbreaking so it is very nice to see him make his return and he is fantastic as Dr. Robotnik. This is definitely up there with a classic Jim Carrey 90s performance. We're talking liar liar levels of Jim Carrey, his facial expressions, his mannerisms, he has not missed a beat this man and it is so good to see him back on our screens. The dynamic between him and Sonic is like stripped straight from the video games. It is a lot of fun to watch. And I think certain scenes with Jim Carrey are just fantastic. I'm glad that they left out a lot of his best scenes from the trailer because there are some downright amazing scenes to watch in this. And he literally encompasses the character. If you go into him researching this role, he played the game with his grandson and he's even acknowledged that he's basically like Robotnik with how fast the kids are compared to him in this day and age. So Jim Carrey is great to have you back, man. Hopefully we'll see a lot more of you. Now to go to the nitty gritty of the film, because I've not really spoken that much. This film isn't the greatest film ever. No, it's a kid's movie. So don't go into this expecting it's going to be this mind-blowing, amazing film just because they've done this one VFX change on the Sonic design. It is one of those films that has a very substandard plot. It has a lot of generic dialogue in it. There are some generic beats that it does hit. You can pinpoint them as the film is going along. Generic motivations for different characters. No real defined end game for the villain as opposed to just wanting to surpass their rival. And for me, that is enough. We did not go into this expecting to have the best movie ever made. If I had to compare this to the Detective Pikachu, I would say the Detective Pikachu is probably the slight a better film. But just for the fact that this film went through development hell for so long, had that redesign chain and had that big return with Jim Carrey, this is like a fan's film and it should be treated as such as a fan's film. If you're a fan of the Sonic games and you're a fan of certain lore bits, you'll really enjoy it. I love what they do with the rings in this. I love the little details they add into it. There's a great credit sequence at the end where they basically do the whole plot in 8-bit. So definitely stick around for that as well as a cheeky little post credit scene that I would love to talk about in a spoiler review. Maybe I'll do a podcast discussing this film. Who knows? I have not decided that as of yet. But as of right now, 
there's a lot of the fun things to love in this if you are a Sonic fan. Obviously, the dialogue isn't the greatest. The action scenes are quite hit and miss. The car chasing scenes are decent enough, but the finale scenes do leave a little bit to be desired. There's a lot of comedy in this that does feel a little bit flat while we are getting the classic Sonic dialogue and some great Jim Carrey mannerisms. It feels like they're trying to tell a joke once every three lines and I'd say maybe 70% of them hit. 30% is a good portion to have not hit, so that is unfortunate. James Marsden plays the friend. He's basically a cop that wants to leave his little old town because there's nothing to do there and he wants to be a hero. I'll be honest, I didn't care for his character too much. He had this whole arc that I didn't really buy into. He's basically there just to be the human conduit to bounce off of Sonic, the protagonist. Otherwise, it would have just been a blue hedgehog running across the country, being chased by Jim Carrey. So his character is needed for a foil, but he isn't the best character ever. He's quite vanilla, but he does a job, so that is to be appreciated. Overall, as a video game movie, this is up there with one of the best. I would still say Take a Pikachu is probably the best one and Ready Player One if you count that because that is just basically one massive video game that film. But I would say Sonic the Hedgehog is definitely up there and is definitely a decent video game movie. Yes, there could have been more layers to it because you can tell it's a kid's movie. There are a lot of kids themed jokes in this. There are a lot of times the film does hold back purely because it's a kid's film. And when they do throw in the odd adult joke there, those are the jokes that, for me, really don't hit as hard as they should be doing. With that being said, let's get into my overall thoughts. Overall, Jim Carrey, fantastic as Robotnik. He steals the damn show. Ben Swartz is now going to be known as the voice of Sonic for many years to come. He is a lot of fun to watch. The end sequence stinger is great and the credit sequence is great, but it is let down by some average action scenes, some poorly written characters, some subpar dialogue outside of what is probably ad-libbed. And for me guys, Sonic the Hedgehog is one of those films that you will just need to see on pure principle. Me personally, I had a lot of fun with this film. I thought it was highly enjoyable. I will gladly go and watch it multiple times. But don't go in and expecting this to be in a top 10 list. It isn't that kind of film. This is just purely a film that's in development hell for the longest time that has somehow come out and produced gold. So with that being said guys, I will say that Sonic the Hedgehog is a film that needs a bit more sugar. So Sonic the Hedgehog, have you all seen it? If you have, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And what would you rate this film out of 10? And what would you like to see me review next? Coming up, I do want to be reviewing The Lost Boys. I'm gonna be seeing that tonight on big screen for the first time. I'm very excited about that. But until next time, guys, this is that Spikehead Podcast signing off. Hey, thank you for watching and thank you for making it to the end of the video. While you're here, if you haven't done it yet, please feel free to drop a like and consider hitting that subscribe button for more views coming all the time. And also, while you are here, there are some other videos over there that you might want to sink your teeth into. Have a good day, guys, and do enjoy.